<laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm old school like Pam Bada, no man's hotter. The damn data I jam proper, you man's not a Best time of the day when the shift's over. <laughs> Man, am I tired? Holy smokes. Um, it's Friday. Uh, usually I close tonight, but I switched my shift with a guy uh, on Saturday. Um, and then I got a call last night uh, asking if I wanted to work this morning. Uh, so, here I go. <laughs> uh, There's one thing at work, I'm always the dependable one. Uh, they can always call me to fill in shifts. Um, so today we're going to take a little break from doing the story. Uh, things got a little out of hand for me last night telling it. Um, I had a, a worse reaction to telling it than I thought I would. Um, so we're just going to take a break from that today. Just do regular happy, happy, happy day. Happy vlogs. Uh, I don't want to have it... Uh, so dark um, continuously <laughs> uh, so uh, I want to keep it light for you guys it's work time so today at work I am filling in for uh, one of the guys uh, that I usually work with uh, I've never worked his side in the morning so this morning is going to be a whole lot of uh, kind of figuring shit out as I go hopefully I don't screw up a lot of shit today <laughs> uh, but you know I got that shit unlocked out, remember? I can handle it. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like the sky's on fire. Kind of reminds me of Independence Day a little bit. That's pretty cool. I don't know if so I can get it still. Yeah. Kitchen's all set up and ready to go. Uh, I just finished making the leet soup, uh, leet cream soup. Never made that before, so that was interesting. And I uh, just finished making the seafood chowder, which is reasonably easy to make. Well, it looks like Canada's role in becoming the States is slowly becoming a reality because Target plans to open 100 to 150 Canadian locations. So now, once we have Target, we have Walmart, what else is there? Uh, there's probably only one or two more companies to take over Canada, and then we're going to be just like the States. Woohoo! Oh yeah, today's special, glorious fish and chips. Oh yeah, so yummy. Alright, there's another day down. So, I'm tired as hell, so I'm not going to go to the source today. Uh, I'm gonna go home and relax for a while. We'll see you guys at home. All right, guys, just got home. Uh, I was uh, sitting down looking over your guys' comments about my last video, um, the downward spiral. Um, thank you guys a lot. Uh, I was very nervous about putting that video up there. Um, it was the first time I ever openly spoke about that part of my life. And as you can very well tell, uh, it was extremely difficult for me to get through. Um, so for you guys to be nice and supportive, um, it really means a lot. Uh, I do hope that through this I can help somebody, uh, if anything, help them realize that they're not alone. I know it's, it's a cliche saying, um, but for me when I was going through those dark times, I had my mother by me all the time. Um, and even when I was in the, the mental institution, uh, she would come and visit me while I was there. Um, so, luckily for me, I had that that person behind me. Uh, a lot of people don't have that, and this is what I'm hoping to do, is to provide that for somebody. 
Um, so if you guys can spread the word out there, um, I don't really have a big network of people to get my name out there. So uh, if you guys could uh, help me out with that, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Now it is time to play with the kitty cat, isn't it? Yes, yes. All right. I'm gonna play with the kitty cat. I will talk to you guys in a bit. So uh, I just finished reading, uh, well, not reading, but uh, watching the news. And uh, they did a story on Ted Williams again, you know, that homeless guy with the voice and everything. It's been all over the news. Uh, people are starting to get a little sick of hearing about him, but anyway, I digress. Um, it just came out that, you know, he, he said that he's been clean, you know, for two years, uh, but he was speaking of drugs. Uh, apparently, he still has a pretty bad alcohol problem. Uh, so he checked himself back into, or not back into, but he checked himself into rehab. Uh, so good on you. Um, he, he's making an attempt at changing his life around. He has the opportunity to do so. And he was obviously raised with some values because he's making the right decision. And he knows that he has an opportunity and he's moving forward with it. Um, now most people that I've dealt with in my lifetime see an opportunity like that and they take advantage of it the best way that they can and then move along. Um, they don't see an opportunity, they just see uh, uh, a chance to uh, make a quick buck and then move along to the next thing. Um, so it's nice to see that uh, someone of his, his age um, and someone of his background um, you know, uh, can make a decision as proper as that. So uh, good on you, Ted Williams. Uh, you know, I hope you get through the rehab program, and I hope uh, everything's still there for you when you get out. So, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers said the job's still there for him, so that's good. Uh, at least they're standing by the man. So uh, I'm going to go to the store, get some munchies, play some video games, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey right, guys, so I told you that once my tattoo started scabbing, that uh, I'd show you how to take care of them further. Uh, unfortunately, when I got out of the shower today, uh, all the scabs were gone. <laughs> so. Uh, as you can see here, it's uh, pretty clean now. Still pretty sore, unfortunately. Um, not a whole lot of blue stuck in this one. Uh, but that's okay, it kind of gives it a faded look. Um, so we're still going to add some Vaseline to it. Uh, since the scabbing's off, we can add a little bit more uh, just to help moisten the skin and to help uh, trap that color in there so none of it gets out. Still try to go with the hairs because, you know, irritation and all that. You don't have to be so uh, careful with it now. Now that all the scabbing's gone. Usually the scabbing lasts about a week, but apparently I'm a pr pretty quick healer, so. Uh, it only took about four days for the scabbing to come completely off, which is pretty fast. It shouldn't have done that, but it did, so. And there you go. So once again, those tattoos. So yeah, generally, uh, once the scabbing starts to come off, you don't want to pick it or anything like that. Uh, let it fall off naturally. Uh, like I said, when I got out of the shower, it was gone. So uh, probably a high possibility that I scrubbed it off, but you never know. Uh, anyway, so uh, that's pretty much it. Now the tattoos are just uh, going to try to seal themselves. Um, they're practically already healed, but I mean they're still they're still pretty sore. That means there's still some healing left in them. So uh, I'll show you uh, once these are all finished healing and everything. I'll show you the end result. She's such a good singer. They are so talented. Ah, oh, so talented. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of a nice relaxing day for me. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna get right back into the story. I'm gonna try to keep it. Uh, I'm gonna try to not be uh, so like sitting over there. So, uh, I'm gonna try to like you know walk around and stuff while I'm telling the story, so I'm not getting down on myself. So I uh, will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, remember to subscribe and go to Twitter, Wiseman Times, all that sort of stuff. You know, you guys know all that stuff. So anyway. Uh, have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow.